Hi there, so we are going to be making a wildflower. Now this pattern is free on Ravelry and um, it's free to download so uh, just look at Milton's Crafts and you'll find us there. I'll link it also in the description on uh, Instagram, Facebook, and on YouTube. So you're going to need scissors, you're going to need a four millimeter hook if it'll focus, there it is, and then you're going to need your eye hook for sewing up. So I'm choosing, uh, you can do so many different variations with this pattern. I'm going to choose, um, orange, bright orange for the middle. And this is just scrub, some scraps I have and then yellow for the petals. Um, so let's get started. First, you're going to start with a magic circle, which I do mine differently. I do a crossover on the top. Then I chain one, oh, I grab it, bring it through, chain one. All right, now you do 10 single crochets in the middle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You grab your tail, tighten up that loop. Not too tight yet. Make sure you get your slip stitch into that first single crochet that you made. So you slip stitch that together, tighten the hole, ta-da, and then we chain one. And I always like to just keep going back and tightening that hole. Now this row is going to be an increase row, so you're going to do two in each stitch and you will come out with 20. I'll do the first one with you and then I'll see you at the end. So there's one, two, I'll do another one, three, and then four. Okay, so we are at the end and then we're going to slip stitch to that very first single crochet slipped now when you want to you want to add another yarn see how that hole gets bigger and bigger when you sew it up at the end it'll be it'll work out better so we're going to cut our orange i usually cut it longer than i should <laughs> but that's just how i play the game all right so here's the yellow and what i like to do is i like to slip stitch that back well i don't even slip stitch i just bring it in I tighten the first slip stitch and then you'll chain seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right, so you go four chains down. So one, two, three, four. It's going to be the middle chain between. So there'll be three on this side and three on that side. And then you just slip stitch that in there. And then you do. Uh, three double crochets. Sorry, I've got other yarn attached to my yarn. I think that was a red yarn. <laughs> I had all the yarns in a basket last night. So, so anyway, so we got three double crochets. That's our first petal. So watch. Now we've got this excess yarn back here. I don't so hide this one because I still want to make sure that that's as tight as possible. Wait, so what we're going to do now is according to the pattern, we slip stitch in that next stitch. So not this one, but in the next one, you can just throw these two over, slip stitch. Sorry, I think I went off camera on that. It's hard to do this on your phone. So I slip stitch in there and then you slip stitch in the next one as well. So I slip stitch in there as well. Now keep these over. I'm going to chain seven again. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we're going to find the fourth, fourth stitch. One, two, three, four. Fourth chain. Sorry. Did it pick it there or however you say it? And then we do three double crochets. That's one. That's two, and 
here is three. Then we slip stitch in that next stitch. And now look, we've got two petals. I'll do another one with you guys. I'm going to slip stitch in the next one. I'm going to chain seven. One, two, three, four. I like to do four and then I put my finger there and then I do the, the last three. Kind of saves on time so I don't have to go back and count. And then I slip stitch in that fourth one from the top and then I double crochet in the last three. So yarn over, I didn't even say that, sorry guys. Pull through one, pull through two, do it again. And then slip stitch in the next stitch. Bam, we have three petals now. It's gonna look a little funny, but these are meant to bow up because they're wildflowers. Wildflowers kind of do their own thing, you know? All right, I will see you guys at the end of the round. And I'll, I'll, I'll stop at the last petal and then I'll, I'll come back on. Okay, so I'm on my last petal. And um, yeah, it, it's gonna crinkle like this and that's okay because we're still working on it. So I'm gonna chain my four, two, three, four, sorry keep going off screen and then three one two three so seven in total slip stitch into the fourth chain and then double crochet into the last three so one two three and you could use a bigger hook size for a bigger flower um, if you wanted to. For me, I use the fours. Um, okay, and then so look, you have one stitch left, one and one kind of a half, you know. So, but you got ten petals, and that's what you want. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I was just thinking, how embarrassing would that be if I only had nine? I'd be like, oh my god. <laughs> so we slip stitch in that next spot. Bam, and see how you have this part right here open? Now you can slip stitch in there, but what I like to do is, you see how these are all like kind of like V-shaped in here? I wanna make it look kind of symmetrical. So I'll come in here. So what I did is I went inside of here and I just slip stitched around there to kind of give it that same look. And then I'm gonna cut my yellow. And I tighten it. See, we've got a cute little flower here. And then I tighten up the back. Tight, tight, tight. And then, you can kind of pull these out. A five hook would be good on this too. But like, for me, I just don't like them big. I love how, I love this look. I do use, um, this is the stiffening spray I use. I don't have any affiliates, so I can't have any links yet. But this is the one, I like this one. It's okay. You can also use starch. So for like clothing and things like that. And so that's the wildflower, guys. And then you just sew up your tails. Um, I already cut off the other two that I was wrapping through, and this is my finished one. When you do your finishing tail, you want to um, make it come to the back, you know, because it's in the front, technically. You know, this could be a really cute, if you did the, uh, on one of mine, I did um, a double-sided wildflower. I've got one right here with me, I can show you. So there's this, and this is double-sided. And what I did is I left the, the pickets wild and free. So it's thick, it's hardy. This could be a pretty keychain in like a smaller size, you know? You can do all kinds of things with these. I mean, there's so many color variations. Like, here's what I'm making for my sister. You know, so many things that you can do. All right, guys, if you liked this video, please like my page, 
follow me on Instagram, Facebook, all the places, wherever here is fine too. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys have a great day and happy making.